Nature is full of wonder and beauty, but the calm serenity seen on the outside hides a feature that permeates every aspect of the natural world, the continuous struggle for survival. Much of this struggle revolves around competing for scarce resources that every living organism needs in order to function, thrive, and multiply. Food. Where there is an abundance of food, life flourishes and thrives. But with this flurry of life, competition becomes fierce. In areas where food is scarce, only a few life forms cling on. One group of animals has managed not only to survive, but to thrive and rise to dominance in almost every climate zone on Earth, ants. Apart from humans, ants are the only creatures that engineer their environment, engage in agriculture to grow their own food, and rear other animals as livestock. Over the next few episodes, we will explore the amazing strategies ants employ to feed their sprawling colonies. A single Campanotus lignipertus ant systematically scours the undergrowth. She is a scout for the empire hidden in a wooden log that we saw in episode 3. She is on a mission to find a new source of food. The colony sent out dozens of scouts like her, each one traveling up to 50 meters away from their nest in order to find food. Scaled up to human dimensions, this comes close to the distance of a half marathon. Ant societies work together so selflessly and efficiently that they are often compared to cells or organs in a body that function solely for the purpose of the whole. Biologists refer to such societies as superorganisms. Having many independent small parts rather than a single large body has its advantages. The area covered by the numerous scouts in search of food is many times larger than what an animal the size of all the ants in the colony combined could scour. Ants use their strength in numbers to compete for food. When a scout is successful, she immediately returns to her nest to recruit other workers to collect the food she found. On her way home, she taps the rear segment of her body, called the gaster, on the ground at regular intervals. This is more than just a victory dance. With every tap, she excretes chemical signals called pheromones to mark her path. When her nestmates pick up the scent of this pheromone trail, they follow it back to the food source. When this chemical trail comes to an end, they start foraging, each worker carrying food back to the nest in her jaws. Ants can carry objects several times their own body weight. Most species can easily carry burdens five times their own weight and drag others that are up to 25 times their body weight. Bulldog ants have been shown to carry objects up to 20 times their own body weight. For an average human, this would be the equivalent of lifting 1.2 tons or 2,600 pounds. Items too large to transport are either carved up into smaller pieces or carried by a small group of ants working together. On their way home, each food carrier excretes pheromones just like the scout, making the scent of the foraging trail even stronger. Each added layer of pheromones attracts more ants, which in turn adds more pheromones, creating a feedback loop that turns the trail into a busy highway crowded with ants. This system of recruitment allows ants to respond quickly and efficiently to new food sources, gathering up large amounts within a short period of time, outpacing most competitors. As the food source is depleted, the returning ants will no longer add new pheromones to the trail. The scent gradually disappears 
and the flow of ants wanes. As less food is brought into the nest, the scouts start to wander off into uncharted territory again to look for new areas to plunder. This foraging strategy is so efficient that most ant species make use of it in some form. Foraging ants obtain protein by scavenging carrion of dead insects and other animals. Carbohydrates and fats mainly come from plant material such as seeds and fruits. Scouts know the exact nutritional needs of their colonies. Larvae need large amounts of protein to fuel their rapid growth. The queen, likewise, needs a protein-rich diet to produce eggs. Adult workers, on the other hand, require much more carbohydrates for energy. The colony changes its foraging behavior to meet its evolving needs through a series of complex interactions. We will talk about these interactions in a dedicated video on our upcoming series, Ants Explained. Although the foraging behavior we saw in this episode is widespread among ants, not all species wait until they stumble upon a feast. Many take matters into their own hands by becoming lethal hunters, skilled farmers, and shrewd pastoralists. These specialized species are the focus of our coming episodes. We will go to the Far East to meet a unique hunting tribe, revisit a Central European colony who have built a large-scale dairy industry, and learn about a unique group of farming ants that come from the tropical rainforests of South America. Subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on our new discoveries ahead.